so and welcome to this video so uh, today what we're going to be doing is uh, we're going to be finishing off the channel creating mechanism thing uh, for our website and by that what I mean is uh, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be um, imposing a limit on the number of channels that can be created so um, maybe we'll allow five channels to be created uh, if a channel if a user has a channel we'll remove this message and replace it with something um, else and if they have the um, any channels they have will be displayed here and um, once they reach the maximum number of channels uh, we will we'll, uh, stop them being able to create any more so um, let's get started so if we go to the database you can see in the channels table I can't click on browse uh, because uh, there's nothing in the channels table um, so so what we need to do is we need to create one. So I'm going to click click here to create one, which means click here to create a channel. Um, okay, so we just find the problem. Uh, channel. Okay. Okay, so the reason uh, we're getting this error is because, um, well, if you go to the database, we can see we have an, um, a channel that was created, but the channel uh, has not has no name. Uh, the reason... Um, or is it? Uh, the reason that uh, went through in and uh, inserted to the database is because we've said if is set create channel. So uh, if the uh, form if uh, where is it uh, this form is submitted. So if the anything is submitted on the page, uh, we insert it into the database. But if we go back to the members page and we click here to create one, we're still sending data to this page because. Um, this is just a submit button that submits to this page so it was just a simple way to uh, get it to uh, take us to the page but it's uh, given us some problems so we need to fix those now so uh, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the uh, video box um, root directory in the database and I'm going to empty the table and uh, now we can just refresh so what we're going to do is we're going to put a check in so we're going to say um, else uh, if so we're gonna say if channel name equals nothing so if it's uh, empty which is what it was in the, uh, uh, which is um, what we didn't check for which is why uh, the form was being submitted properly uh, we're just going to echo oops we're just gonna uh, echo nothing for now anyway and what this will do is this should actually just stop that problem. So if we click, if we uh, click here to create one, uh, we still get the undefined index channel name. But uh, if we go to the database and click on structure, uh, nothing was inserted. So uh, that means we've stopped uh, the channel name being inserted. And what we're going to do is we need to just define the variable. Um, so uh, channel name is the uh, variable. So uh, a simple thing we can do here to remove that error is just put an at sign in front of the post or the uh, dollar underscore post and then uh, if we go back to members and we click here to create one uh, there's no errors given to us and if we refresh the structure uh, nothing's inserted because that's still uh, black and I can't click on it it's not a link. Uh, so back here what we're going to do is we're going to create our channel so I'm going to create creative code and I'm going to click create channel it says your channel was created successfully and we'll go to members and click structure and if we go here it's uh, now we can click on the channels so it says one total which means our uh, channel was inserted successfully so on the uh, members page what we need to do is we need to um, create a list of the uh, channels so what we're going to do here is we're going to remove this form for now and we're just going to say um, we're going to open a PHP block and we're going to say channel we're going to create a okay sorry we're going to create a variable called channel check which equals mysql query select a uh, channel name from channels where 
uh, created by equals uh, user, which I think is the variable we used for the username of the uh, logged in user. So what we're going to say is um, uh, num rows num rows uh, underscore cc for channel check equals my sql num rows channel check whoops and here as usual we're going to say num row if num rows cc equals uh whoops, equals zero then we're going to echo uh create your own channel so we're just going to say uh, echo nothing for the moment, but we're going to put a comment here that says uh, they don't oops, have any channels, so they need to create one. And then here we can say else. So if they have uh, some channels, then we want to uh, pick up those channels. So what we're going to say is while row equals mysql fetch associative so like a sock basically and uh, num whoops channel check uh, then we want to just say uh, channel name equals row channel name and then here we can just echo channel name and then what we should be echoed with is creative code and we are so that uh, query is working so what this is doing is it's saying uh, if they have a channel we're going to create a while loop which is just going to loop uh, through everything it just uh, basically loops through uh, forever and ever and ever so what it does is it loops through every row in the database um, that uh, matches this query so what it means is uh, every time it sees a channel um, with the uh, created by uh, column equaling the username of whoever's logged in it's going to take the channel name from, or, uh, from the channel name row and it's going to store it in a variable called channel name uh, so that we can echo it out basically. So uh, now we've got the channel name echoed out. What we're going to do is we're just going to say um, your channels. And we can actually uh, just put a bit of styling in here. So we could say bold to make it bold. Uh, so the channel name stands out a bit better and then we could put a paragraph break in at the end uh, so there it is it says your channels and actually up here put a paragraph break in as well so now if we refresh it says your channels creative code and now if i go to uh, create channel.php again and I create a new channel. So if I was to create a channel called Francis and click create channel, it says your channel was created successfully. And if I go to uh, members, it says we have two channels, Francis and Creative Code. Uh, so uh, what we want to do now is uh, uh, we want to create our limit for the amount of channels that can be created. So that's really simple. So what we're going to do is we're just going to say, uh, Uh, here we're going to say echo num rows underscore cc and now we're going to go uh, refresh the page and it says two so that's just the uh, total number of channels that have been created so what we're just going to say is now we can just copy this or I cut it and paste it in so we're going to say um, num rows of uh, five channels created so what this says is uh, two of five channels created and if I create another one so uh, create channel.php and if I 
uh, give it any name, it doesn't matter. So Google and I click create channel and go to members, it says three of five channels created. So now what we need to do is we need to impose um, a limit on the uh, number of channels that, we, that can be uh, created. Um, the way we're going to do that is we're going to go to the create channel.php page and uh, we can actually copy this query. And um, here we're just going to paste it in and we're going to say, uh, we can keep all that the same, but we're going to say here, uh, if num instead of if num rows equals zero, we're going to say if num rows equals five, and then we're going to delete that, and we're just going to surround all of this in um, that if statement. So this way, if num rows equals five, it shouldn't let us. Or, um, we should actually say if num rows doesn't equal five, because um, Okay, is uh, less than or equal to five. Okay, so we actually want to say is if num rows is less than five, so uh, if they have less than five channels created, then we want to run this code um, or else uh, we want to say echo uh, you can only create um, five channels at uh, we'll check five channels per account so if we uh, delete that and just put that in so now if we try to create a channel it should still let us create two more channels so uh, create channel.php and now I'm going to create another one so I could call this channel I don't know PHP and then click create channel your channel was created successfully, create another one called HTML. Your channel was created successfully. And now uh, we can actually just go to the members page. It says five of five channels created. So now if we go to uh, create another channel and we try to create one, doesn't matter what it's called. It says you can only create five, whoops. You can only create uh, five channels per account. And if we uh, ref uh, go back to the uh, browse section here, just refresh that. We go to members here, and uh, no new channel has been added. And we can check here, it says five total rows. So if that had gone through, it would be six. And as you can see, the uh, new channel we tried to create wasn't uh, put through. So that shows our limits working. And um, yeah, we've put a limit so that only uh, we can only create five channels and every channel has to be unique and we fix the uh, original problem. So uh, what we're going to do on the uh, members page quickly is uh, we're going to say if num rows equals zero then uh, we're going to close off the PHP code and open a new one and we're just going to create the form again and the uh, form action is going to be uh, create channel.php method post oops actually we can get rid of the method because we don't need it and we're just going to create an input type of submit name equals um, I don't know go to channel create and then the value is going to be create my channel and above the form we're just going to say um, you haven't made any haven't made any channels yet click here or uh, click the button to make some or uh, just say make one uh, and then now if we refresh the page nothing will change because we still have five channels but if I was to go back to the uh, 
rid of the uh, value box database and empty the uh, whole table. Uh, and now if I refresh, it says you haven't made any channels yet. Click here to, or I click the button to make one. Create my channel. Creative code. Create my, or I create channel. And there we have one channel created for uh, this user. So that's it for this video. Don't forget to comment, like, favorite, and subscribe. And um, uh, in the next video, we'll be uh, probably creating channel pages and things. And I will see you next time.